Hello, my name is Fran. Uh, I'm one of the flexibility coach and today we're going to go through a 10 minutes video for your hips. It's going to be a beginner flow and it will help you find in a little bit more space in your hips, a little bit more mobility and hopefully also strength. We're going to get started lying down on our mat and you might want to grab a couple of blocks or also a strap as well or a belt, whatever you have to uh, reach a little bit further. Um, when you come in down on your mat, get yourself nice and comfy and settled through the spine and make sure that you get your leg nice and long as well. And just taking a moment to find a little bit of energy through the body. So taking a deep breath in through the nose and trying to press the heel away from the body as well as the shoulders down into the ground. And as you exhale, we're going to bring our right knee into the chest and begin to find a gentle pull and gentle stretch. Now, if you notice that this is quite strong already, you might want to soften that left knee and get a little less tension through the body. If you're feeling comfortable, you can keep that left leg nice and long. Good. From here, we're just going to find a deep breath in again through the nose. And as you exhale, I encourage you to try and pull your knee a little closer to the chest. And again, deep breath in. And exhale, pulling it a little closer. Good. From here, you're going to guide your right knee out to the right side, maybe using your right hand and the left hand can stay on the floor. Try and not allow your hips to peel with you. Keep it nice and pinned to the ground. Whatever openness you get is good. And then we're flexing our right foot as well to find a little bit of tension. And once again, we're taking a deep breath in through the nose. And a big breath out through the nose. Just one more here. And out. Very nice. Now we're going all the way across to the left. So you can guide again the movement with your left hand this time. You can place your right elbow or right arm through across. And we're going to find a little twist, ideally trying to keep that right shoulder to the floor. If it peels, it's OK, but you can readjust yourself when you notice that happening. It doesn't, the knee doesn't have to reach the ground. And we're finding a deep breath in. And a big exhale to relax into the twist. Deep breath in through the nose to relax into the hip. Good. And we're going to come all the way back in now. This is where you might want to grab a strap or simply use whatever part of the body you can find to reach a little longer. And we're going to bring a strap or a belt into the foot and then lengthen the leg nice and slow. If you're noticing there's a lot of tension into the hamstring, into the back of the leg, you might just want to stay here. Ideally, we want to press that left foot away and just finding a big breath in. If you're feeling like it's softening as you breathe, maybe you want to try and extend and softening a little bit. And then on the inhale, pull it back in nice and slow. Good, and exhale again. Nice, last one, inhale. And exhale to extend. Very nice. Now try and find a little bit of tension through the legs. See if you can release. Maybe you want to soften the knee and try and bring the leg nice and slow and controlled all the way down to the mat. Finding that length that we had in the left leg into the right. And then as we exhale, left side. Two breaths here. The exhale helps the body relax. And that's why we're taking deep breaths. And we're starting to open to the left on our next inhale. Try and keep that right hip nice and pinned to the floor. You can also use your hand to help it keep it pressed if you want to, or open it out to the side. And you're always going to notice a little bit of difference between the two sides, but that's very normal. So just find whatever kind of edge of discomfort you can find on each side to get a little bit of stimulus in the stretch. Very nice. We're going across to a little twist again, so you can switch your hands and guide it through. And a big exhale to land. Try and pin your left shoulder down. Our last breath in before we come back to our center. Good. And then this is where we grab our strap again. Maybe feed it around the foot 
we'll just take a moment to press it up and we're going to find the length that feels good maybe just finding a bit of tension through the back of the leg you can have it a little further away as well whatever works for you we're finding our exhale to try and extend the leg inhale to bend the knee and exhale to extend our last one here very nice find that little contraction even if it means bending the knee and try and control it all the way down nice and slow and then from there if you wish you can find a little rock or simply roll over to one side to come up into a seated position and we're going to set ourselves up with our legs in front and the hands behind the hips so you get a bit more space and if you find this a little bit uncomfortable you can always grab a block and slide it under your hip and kind of find a bit more height here then have your heels a little bit more open than your hips and just taking a little moment to sit tall, maybe leaning back a little bit more. And we're going to do a tiny bit of a windscreen wipe through the knees. So drop in both knees to the left, exhale. Inhaling back to center and exhale across. Now, if you're feeling that this is good enough, you can stay here as you continue the movement. If you want a little bit more, you potentially can lift a little higher through the chest and bring more and more weight into the legs as you move through. Good. From here, we're gonna roll ourselves into a tabletop position. So you can take one knee into the chest and then bring yourself back onto the mat. Ideally, we want to aim for our hands to be under the shoulders, our knees to be stacked under the hips, but feel free to have a little play and see wherever you feel most solid and comfortable. I'm trying to maintain a little bit of a pull into the belly button so the core is nice and tight. We begin to take the left knee into the chest as you exhale. And finding a big circles over to the side and then up. It's quite normal to feel quite shaky doing this. So just find a nice and slow breath as you move. And if you're getting tiny little cramps, then it means that it's working. <laughs> Although if you are getting a lot of cramps, then you can rest and shake it out. Good, let's find two circles the other way. This is really nice to prime the hips for any movement on and off the wall. Good, and we're finding the final little length. We're gonna plant the toes to the mat and just try and press the heel towards the ground to get a nice little calf stretch and also hamstring stretch. Finding a few breaths. Very nice. As you exhale, we're going to kick or step this left foot all the way to the hands. And this is where you can also prop yourself up with a couple of blocks if you find this position a little bit uncomfortable. We want to come into what we call a 90-90 lunge. So ideally, quite nice and compact. And you can come as high as it feels good. Trying to drive the right hip forward as we lift the chest. If you feel like this is already quite strong, you can stay. Otherwise, we're finding some tiny pulses forward, driving that left knee forward over the toes and then back. Last one. Very good. On the inhale, we come all the way to bring the weight through the legs. We're gonna rest our left arm onto the left thigh. Maybe widen the stance a little bit if you feel wobbly. Reaching the right hand nice and long. Really tuck your bum here under, finding some nice strong pressure into the right bum cheek forward and finding a little curvature over to bring the stretch into the hip flexor and the front of the hip. Big breath in. Big breath out. Very nice. So on the exhale, we come all the way back and down into a tabletop again, finding our right leg into our sort of tabletop hip cars, hip, hip controlled articular rotation, taking the right knee into the chest and coming across. So it's really tempting here to allow the hips and the body to move, but we try to stay as compact as possible as we find the drive just through the hip. And a final one, we're going the other way around. So starting to lift the heel up to the sky, taking it across to the right and then into the chest. Very nice. Lengthening that 
Leg nice and long, tucking the toes, pressing the heel away, finding two big breaths. And then finally, we bring this right foot forward to the hands. You can step it and once again, bring yourself into a height that feels good for you. Taking a moment to bring a little bit of activation, pressing the left glute forward, and then you can stay or you can rock, see how you feel. Good, last one here. And to finish off, we're gonna step our left foot forward and meet the right at the top of the mat. Finding a little bit of a drive, you can soften the knees as much as you need to and bring in the body forward into a soft forward fold. If you wish to make this a little heavier, a little bit more restorative, you can dangle the upper body. Just allowing that all, the whole weight of the upper body to pull into the legs. You can also use blocks to support some of your weight so that you don't feel too much. And we're going to finish with a couple of halfway lifts. So the hands will come onto the knees and as you inhale, press the knees away and extend the crown of the head forward. And as you exhale, folding down a little deeper if it feels good, otherwise same place as before. Inhale to lift. Exhale to fold. Good. Inhale, we're going to peel all the way up. Imagine this of a kind of uncurling of the spine. Coming all the way up to standing. Pressing the bum, staying strong through the legs. Rolling the shoulders down and back. And you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this hip flow. If you'd like more content like this or climbing specific flexibility plans, go and check out the link in the description. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.